So basically, you're planting, again, you're planting seeds or you're, you're sowing, you know, however you want to word it. You got fertile soil, you got some kind of soil and rocks on top, and then you got just terrible land. Well, as you're trying to get to your fertile soil, you're dragging this bag of seed, which we've all done. We've all been in Lowe's. We've all picked up that bag, throw it on our shoulder, walk out in our car thinking, why did my wife have me do this? My shoulder hurts, my foot hurts, what am I gonna do? You know, you mad as a wet setting him. You don't wanna do it, you just, okay, whatever, throw it in the back of your truck, oop, then a little slit cuts in that bag. But you didn't know it. You get home, you unload the bag, park in your driveway, you grab that bag, you're like, man, I'm gonna do the best I can, but good gracious. You drag that bag over concrete, you drag it over your nice little garden, you has got rocks and soil and all them pretty plants, and then you get to the grass where you start, you know, funneling it out. Now let's back up and pun a little bit. You grab that bag out of the back of your truck. You were on concrete, right? Seed spills out. Ain't nothing gonna grow there. You got, there's a better chance of a seed growing on concrete than a one-legged man winning a kickball contest. It ain't gonna happen. It's just gonna wash away. When the rain comes, it's gonna wash down your driveway. But you keep dragging that bag, and you cross a little bit of fertile ground, there's a few rocks in there, and all that seed kind of leaked out of that slit when you threw it, you know, in the back of your truck. It hit the rocks and it got in the ground. But the rocks, you know, most of the seed hit the rock because, you know, we all have beautiful gardens. We all have nice decorative walkways. Why wouldn't you? I mean, come on. But then the sun comes up and it just burns all that away. It was starting to grow and now it's just fried. Just, just terrible, just burned up. I mean, it's just crazy. But then you finally get to where you're going and you start, man, you feel like, oh, I'm at the end. You start letting that bag of seed out and you just pouring it on and you know, all the grass starts turning green in a few weeks, it looks so good. Fertile ground. But do you see something that was happening by the time you got in your driveway to that fertile ground? You had to get on concrete where some seeds spilled out and got washed away, which is like, okay, futile effort. Concrete, nobody wants to hear it, it's gonna wash away. But then you crossed over trying to get to that good fertile ground. Rocks and this and that and the other, the seed leaked out, got on top of the rocks, got burned. I mean, it's just like, oh, come on, man. You didn't even know it was happening, but it was happening. All in the background. Then you reach the promised land, son. Pour that seed out, and man, I'm gonna tell you what, there's just plants growing and the grass is so green. Crayola's trying to trademark your color of your yard because it's so green. It's awesome. But then, you know, you go inside, you take a shower, and you're like, man, that was a bunch of work. And it was. But at the end of the day, you planted seeds in that fertile ground, but that fertile ground wasn't your first stop. That was a concrete driveway. It wasn't your second stop. That was the rock, your, your bed, you know, which you tried to decorate and look awesome. Didn't matter. The rocks grabbed it up, burned away. Your stop was that third stop. That's where it grew. That was the farthest thing away from where you thought you were gonna get when you pulled in that driveway. And that slit you never even knew was there, was just dropping seeds, you know, this, that, and the other. But the Lord's gonna water all the seed that hit fertile ground, he'll water all of them. But when the water comes down and it washes seeds away, there you go. It washed them away. People don't wanna hear it. Sometimes they don't wanna hear it. it washes away. Sometimes people want to hear it, but they hear it and they put it in practice and then two weeks later they're done. That's the rocks. The fertile ground, they hear it, it gets down deep in their soul, and then it's like, man, let's get her done. Let's fire it up. Let's, I want to, like I said, bacon. This all comes back around to bacon. Bacon's awesome. You're going to have a cookout because your grass is green, your plants are green. Let's grill bacon, let's have bacon wrapped jalapenos, let's have whatever you want. Grilled hamburgers, grilled hot dogs, tater chips, baked beans. I'm just hungry sitting here talking about this. I mean, how much better can life be if you don't have bacon? 
if we didn't have bacon, what's the point? You know, so anyway, sorry. I'm, you know, I'm just spitting out food facts now. So. <laughs>